Are you looking for a course to supercharge your art? If you like my approach to painting, then you'll want to hear about CVP. Hi there, I'm Janine. I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. You might already have heard of CVP, which is short for the Creative Visionary Program. If you haven't, it's a 12 week long intensive online art course run by artist Nicholas Wilton and his Art to Life program. It happens once every year and it's been running already for many years. I myself took CVP in 2021, just a couple of years after I started painting again. I can safely say that this course transformed my art, my art practice and my painting process. And it really gave me confidence in what I'm doing. A lot of the things that I talk about when I share my process on here are things that I've learned in CVP. If you'd ask me what the number one course is that I would recommend, it is this one. It's the most comprehensive course about making art that I've come across. There is also a free workshop beforehand that anyone can join for free. And even if you only join the free course, you'll still get fantastic tips to improving your art. This is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to say any of this. It's all truly my opinion and I'm speaking from my own experience. However, I do have a referral link. So if you use my link to sign up to the free course, then I'll get a little something if you then end up signing for the full CVP course after. And my link to sign up to the free course is in the description box below. And to give you an idea why I think CVP is so valuable, I want to give you my biggest takeaways. The importance of play was one of my aha moments, that you can play on your proper pieces and not just in your sketchbooks or on practice pieces, especially in the early stages, but all the way through to the final layers. It makes the painting process much easier and so much more enjoyable. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I do like to play on my paintings. So for example, I know this is a sketchbook, but you would even do this on your paintings that you plan on selling. So I like to start just by playing on the page. I'm not really thinking. You'll have seen me do this loads and loads of times if you've watched any of my videos. It just makes the process so enjoyable and also much easier if it's enjoyable. See, I don't even want to stop playing. It's very addictive. I have a design background. I've worked in design for many years, but I've never had the design principles explained so clearly and so straightforward. CVP teaches you how to analyze and fix any type of composition that you might end up from your play stage. So if a painting does not look quite right, I now know how to fix it. An easy way to fix your composition is to check what shapes you've got. So I've got, I've got a black shape here and a black shape here, and they're very noticeable because they're a dark value, which means they're very dark. And they're kind of the same size. So to make your composition more pleasing to the eye, you want to switch up your sizes. So let's say I'm going to make this here actually larger than this. Like that. Let's mix in some colour to make it a bit more exciting. Because it doesn't have to be the same colour, it could be any colour. As long as the value is dark. And now this one's smaller. And I've also got these little shapes that are dark that I can... make a little bit more prominent and you see I've even got a little splatter here that's even smaller than these so that composition is already more pleasing than what I had before also I've got something everywhere but down here I don't really have a dark so you might want to add a little bit here and then you see that's kind of the same size as this so I'd want to change that so now that's a different size to these and that's an easy way of fixing your composition that I've learned from CVP. They suggest where to put everything for the smoothest workflow. And you might have seen me use those little paint bottles that I transfer my paint into. I did that through CVP and my Stay Wet palette that I do get a lot of questions about, I also started using because of CVP. So the first thing is how to set up your workspace. For example, transferring your paint into these kind of paint bottles that are really easy to squirt out or how beneficial it is 
to have a stay wet palette, which is basically just tracing paper or baking paper on top of a wet kitchen towel in a tray. And you can even have this and you can have another tray as a lid, which then keeps your paint moist for much longer than if you just had it on the surface. So I'd already heard of using the little squeezy bottles and the Stay Wet palette, but I wasn't using it before I started the course and it is really a game changer and I've been using it ever since. Nicholas also tells you where to put all your painting supplies for just the smoothest workflow really. So you're not wasting time while you're painting and you've got everything very easily accessible. I found that really helpful. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Contrast or differences as they call it in CVP is really what makes your art more interesting. That can be contrast in the colours you use, for example, warm against cool or saturated against unsaturated, or especially impactful is contrast in your values. What I just talked about before is also, does also apply to contrast, where you have a large shape contrasted with a smaller shape, and then also a dark value contrasted with a light shape. And you could even add a colour contrast. So this is kind of a warm colour. And then I'm going to add a cool colour. So I've got a cool colour to add in just for a little bit of variety. And already my painting looks even more interesting. My favourite takeaway was the importance of taking risks in your art. You can have a pleasing composition and harmonious colours, but your painting might still be missing something. So you need to take risks and be willing to possibly mess up your painting in order to achieve a better end result. Now, in terms of taking risks, let's say I already quite like this painting, but it definitely needs something else. And the composition is there, there's differences in colour and in the value contrast, but it's still not kind of working. So I'm going to take a risk and cover quite a lot of this. So I've got this bright yellow, which is very striking. And I'm just going, I've got no idea what's going to happen. So I'm going to take a risk and experiment with adding loads and loads of that. Just add it over basically half of my painting, maybe even more than half, maybe even most of it. So I've taken a risk and it does look a lot more interesting than I did than it did before. It might not still be ready, but I can again always go over it and change things. Reveal this and reveal this and fix the composition again and go back and forth. But taking the risk has just made this so much more interesting. Not only are you working on your own paintings, you also see all the teachings in action during the many life calls where teachers review work that other students submit. It's just so helpful to see all the principles laid out over and over again on real life examples. I do recommend it for beginners because it accelerates your learning, but it's also very intense. I think it's definitely beneficial for more experienced artists. I knew most of what was being taught, but everything was just laid out in such an accessible way. CVP gives you the tools to make your art in a methodical way, while also keeping the process playful. The full course, not the free taster, costs a lot of money. For me, it was totally worth it because it accelerated my painting journey immensely, but I did have another income at the time. It was so worth making art that I'm proud of and that I could even sell to possibly make the cost of the course back. That being said, it obviously depends on every individual situation, whether it's worth it for you or not. If you are a complete beginner, you might get overwhelmed with the sheer volume of information, but you do have a whole year to catch up on things that you've missed or that you want to revisit. If you've already been painting for decades, you'll probably still learn new things, but you might not get as much value out of it. If you can afford it in any way, I would definitely recommend it. If you can't, then start with other resources. But I would still join the free course. For the amount of information and the time the teachers spend on it and just the value you gain, I think the cost is totally justified. Most importantly, 
CVP teaches you the art you are meant to make and not how to paint in somebody else's style. I hope this has helped you gain an insight into what you could potentially learn from the course. If you're interested in finding out more, then do check out my link below. If you do decide to sign up, no matter whether it's the free course or the full course, it would be amazing if you could do so via my link below because I will get a little something and it doesn't cost you any more and it will help me to create more videos for you. If you're interested to see some of my CVP learnings in action, then you can watch the playlist I made where I paint a whole series up here. Thanks and bye bye.